are more than 3,000 years old. Basil, artichoke. Guys, good morning. This is an unplanned video. It was Saturday morning. Uh, my buddy Mayan called me up and said, let's go for a ride. I said, okay, where are we going? He said, you know what, let's go to Jerusalem. We just came to Jerusalem. I didn't plan this and I just couldn't, I couldn't resist to take this footage. Uh, scenes of uh, old Jerusalem, the old, the old city, the old city of Jerusalem, two, 3,000 years of history. Amazing footage over here. It's not my typical video with a Harley motorcycle and stuff like that. So if you, you're only into motorcycles, the Harley, skip this one. But if you're into spirituality, you want to see a little bit of religion, uh, I think the holy, actually the holiest place on earth. Uh, this is the video. I'm going to be walking around uh, Jerusalem, the, the, old, the old city of Jerusalem, uh, showing you footage that I just, you know, just it's Saturday morning. Uh, most of the Jews that are at temples. Uh, so there's not a lot of people out here and it's early in the morning. It's like 9, 10 o'clock in the morning, Saturday. The streets are not so full, but I'm walking around. I just had to grab this, uh, this footage. I'm not a very religious person. I'm not going to get into that. Uh, but any, any person coming into this, uh, this place, to go, coming into this city, this feels... You, you feel the spirituality in the air. It's, it's amazing. The, the, the feeling, it's, it's amazing. Like, I can't even uh, describe it in words. So uh, just sit back, enjoy. Uh, hope you enjoy this, uh, you know, scenery. I'm not getting into politics over here at all. I just want anybody from all religions, religions to enjoy this video. Uh, so... <laughs> Uh, the main highway, highway number one that takes you from Tel Aviv uh, to Jerusalem. down in an elevation by hundreds of meters up and down while we're driving over here. It says this is the nicest road in Israel.
This is the walls. These are the walls of uh, Jerusalem's old old city, dating back two, three thousand years ago. We're gonna go through it right now. Jaffa Gate, Shariafo, Jaffa Gate. It's Saturday morning. Not a lot of people. Very sacred day for the Jews. It's a 90 degrees uh, turn over here. They built it on purpose so chariots com can come in with, can uh, enter the town, the city. So you had to make a 90 degrees turn. And it's uh, not wide enough for chariots. Usually on, on weekdays, it's crazy. Oh yeah, uh, it's crazy, it's crazy. Uh, you can't walk over here, but everything is sad. First of all, Saturday, second with uh, with COVID, very few people going out. Little merchant stores, shops. The smells are amazing. Merchants getting their shops ready for the day. And there's a lot of security all around. Look at the Very uh, tense area, three religions meeting, and spirituality over here is amazing. Jews, Muslim, and Christians. This is like the center, the epicenter of, of the world for, for religion. These buildings and structures are 3,000, more than 3,000 years old. We're in the old, old city, old city of Jerusalem. All these, these things are in the, you know, the Bible, the Old Testament. Now we're in the Christian quarter. What is it called? <laughs> we came here early in the morning so we don't uh, have problems with uh, traffic and stuff like that. So it's very atypical to see like what you see now on the streets is like it's empty. It's closed. This is a place where uh, Jesus was crucified, buried, and uh, resurrected from this place.
That is the crossover, the church we just saw. And right less than 30 yards from it is uh, a mosque. This shows you how uh, all religions live together in this brother. small and sacred place. Some background, this, this, the old city is divided into four quarters, the Jewish quarter, the, the Christian, the Muslim, and the Armenian quarter, all living within together with thousands of years of history. Of, of course, it's controversial, a lot of, uh, you know, fights and stuff of, that's when religion is in, involved, there's a lot of, uh, a lot of uh, fight and stuff like that, but all living here together. You know this by now already falafel, right? Looks good. Ima? Okay, huh? Oh, looks really good. Look at this baklava. Wow, it's the Ophi, I think. Real baklava. Real, real baklava. Look at this halva, halva. Spices, you cannot believe the smell, amazing smell of these spices over here. <laughs> Zaza. Zaza. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Zaza. Pistachios. Marmalade. Marmalade. Uh, sesame. What is that? Nuggets. Nuggets. Another sesame. This is peanuts and... And this is coconut. Amazing. Delicious. <laughs> give it. Give it. Oh, look at these. There's the open. We're walking through Via de la Rosa. Jesus walked with uh, his cross, the cross on his back in this last day. That's what I mean, all religions living together. Jewish talit, the cross. If I'm Muslim, items.
Yeah. Trip over here was unplanned. It's like the just you know decided to come here, so I didn't make my background. I didn't check my background yet to see to to learn a little bit more. So whatever I'm telling you is what I uh, what I know from my own knowledge living here in this uh, beautiful place of Israel. Uh, and anything I know is my own knowledge. Later on editing, if I find more stuff that I want to add, I'll throw it on the screen. And if I do make mistakes, guys, I apologize. I'm uh, Jewish, uh, living in the States. With uh, Most of my friends are Christians, Muslim friends as well. So from what I know, I'm sharing with you now. And don't, don't kill me if I make mistakes. It's, uh, it's unintentional. What? Huh? Selfie for the wife. <laughs> Look at this baklava, it's amazing. <laughs> oh Uh, the, the question is asked I think obviously some of you are asking am I feeling safe over here am I slightly scared uh, in regards to the history of this place the bloody history of this place even in the you know past uh, last few years well, yeah, somewhat I am, a uh, little bit. But there are a lot of people, security, uh, you know, protecting the peace, the peace. And uh, but I am always looking over my shoulder. Not, I can't avoid it. I grew up because of me. Because of him, yeah. No, because I grew up over here, and I have my memory. Uh, it's still full of uh, bloody uh, memories, but. 20 years ago. Nothing. It was many years ago now. It's very peaceful and and quiet. And tourists have nothing to worry about over here. Beautiful place. Wow, look at this. This is bizarre. Walking towards the Jewish court, quarter, uh, we're gonna go to uh, the Western Wall, the most sacred. Uh, I don't give a book at all. <laughs> uh, going towards the Western Wall, the most sacred place uh, for Jews on Earth. It is the Western Wall of where uh, the temple, the temple used to be, the Jewish temple. Um, so, currently on the temple itself, on the temple's ruins, there's a mosque called Al-Aqsa Mosque. And that's uh, where we're going right now. So, right now we're in the tunnels leading towards the Jewish court, towards the Western Wall. As it, that is over there, El Aqsa. Right behind the Western Wall is where uh, there's the mosque, El Aqsa Mosque, which is considered the second most uh, sacred place for the Islam. First place is uh, Mecca. That's in Saudi Arabia. <laughs> Hey guys, this is a great view that I was able to grab over here. This is the Western Wall right there, where uh, the Jews come to pray. Behind that is Al Aqsa Mosque, uh, Mount Olive, the Olive Mountain. Very big uh, cemetery, Jewish cemetery overlooking the most sacred place. A lot of Jews around the world pay, pay I don't want to say millions, but lots, lots of money to be buried over here personal note over here right over here I'll go show you very soon this is where my son Daniel got his bar mitzvah when he was 13 years old 
very, very, very spiritual area. Amazing. Like this is the center, the, the center of the earth. Everything starts over here. All the, remember the movie, the apocalypse, uh, I forgot. The, yeah. uh, the movie right. with the zombies, they're all going to Zion. They're going to here. So crazy, crazy, very spiritual. And this is, and you can actually see the walls. These are the surrounding walls of the old city. We're inside the city. And these surrounding walls uh, would, were protecting the settlements uh, 3,000 years ago. The Jews that were living here. Uh, that was protecting against the Romans. I don't know, history. So many uh, other uh, empires that were trying to come in to this place. Okay, this is the spot. This is the spot where my, Daniel, my son, uh, was bar mitzvahed. Uh, this is the western wall, and the continuation over here is the southern part of the western wall. Uh, bar mitzvah. When you're 13 years old, you become, from a boy, you become a, a man. And it's right by over here, the Il David, the town of David, uh, which is goes back two, three thousand years. I'll put a, an exact a date over here. When I get home and research, you can see actually the ruins and the diggings, the archeological diggings. Now we're gonna be climbing up the walls, the walls of the old city that, that surround, that protected. see the the walls high surrounding the old city now that that corner right there is the most southeast of the old city these these walls we're walking on these stones are more than 3,000 years old could you imagine and actually you can see over here little openings to shoot uh, bows and arrows or spears at the time to protect okay. against invaders amazing okay it's the time it's the time it's now 11 30 i guess it's the time when all the mosques are calling their believers the muslim believers to come and pray and over here like i said before this is the olive mountain right over there all the jewish I think there's also Arab uh, cemeteries over there. Mayan over here is, is he's, he thinks differently, he says it's from the Ottoman period, a later period. I'll check it out later. 3,000, 2,000 years, ah, 1,000 give or take. Years. <laughs> Guys, this should be number one on your bucket list. This is number one on your bucket list. Jerusalem. Wow. This is a contract that I just had to uh, take a video of. Look at the walls. Those walls are, we said, two, three thousand uh, years old. That basketball field. It's maybe five years old. Could you imagine? <laughs> We're at the Jewish quarters. Uh, again, this place where you see right now, very small houses, apartments, very small, owned by, by Jews. Not even the hundreds of thousands of dollars, millions of dollars each apartment. This place is called also Cardo, Cardo. It was from the Romans or even before Herod's, I think, was built. The Romans built this, then settled by the Jews. Roman cities, 1,800 years ago. Yeah. <laughs> Samson. Mm 
מיני והיה פה משהו כזה, זה כמו שזה של ה... עשר שנים היה רק את הקשת הזאת שבורה. זה היה בית חולים, בית כנסת. The Zion Gate, Shar Tzion. Like I said before, each one of these gates uh, was built with a 90 degree uh, opening so you can uh, take a chariot, or chariot can go in, but it can't go storming in. It goes in, goes in from there, and then it has to make a 90 degree turn to get into here. That's how it was built. Self-educated self dude over here said that. He just checked Google and Wiki, Wiki educated. Wiki educated. The, the current uh, walls that you see, these walls, were built in the 16th century by the Ottomans. By the Ottomans, the Turkish, the Ottoman Air Empire. The original walls surrounding the city are uh, placed uh, slightly different. 4,000 years. It's placed slightly different in there for 4,000. 4,000 years. Years ago. Yeah. Years ago. Is there places where you can actually see those walls? Not sure. Is... So yeah, we just checked uh, 4,000 years ago, the walls that we <laughs> saw, where, where Daniel where Daniel had his bar mitzvah, that area, that is 4,000 years old. Electricity from 2,000 years ago. Now we have to stand on the side, the Armenian quarter right here. Jaffo, uh, Yafo uh, gate. This is where we came in. Okay, gotta stop for some coffee. This is the best coffee in town, they say. Right by the Jaffa, the Yafo gate. Right here. So. where they used to have the moats, I guess. Tower of David Museum. Just behind the... Oh, you can literally see this part is like old. This, this is like three, 4,000 years old. This is probably a, a younger. As you go higher, you can see the building. Younger age. <laughs> King David Hotel or Palace. Whenever uh, the VIP president uh, of any country comes here to Jerusalem to this hotel. King David. We're looking east, east, southbound, southeast. the outer city.
So you can see uh, the, the walls of the old city of Jerusalem and we're outside. This is the first, uh, first uh, neighborhood built by uh, the philanthropist and the billionaire uh, Montefiore, 1860. Uh, first neighborhood outside of the cities, like I said, out of Jerusalem, the old city. And uh, there's a, uh, I don't know if it's a replica or his actually his actual ch chariot, we'll show you in a second, uh, Montefiore. And this is the chariot or his, yeah, I guess million, millionaires, like Mercedes, Mercedes, yeah, millionaires, what it is, Montefiore carriage. Sir Moses Montefiore made seven, okay, you can read. Guys, as we keep, keep on this uh, journey, I'm really, uh, ex really excited, really excited. I mean, share this, uh, share this video with your loved ones that want to see the Holy Land. This is amazing. Uh, I know a lot of you will find this video really, really interesting. Go ahead, share it with them. Okay, a little small local pizza. Pizza. Good. Let's grab myself a pizza. We're, we're designing our own pizza over here. It's gonna have caper, artichoke, black olives, and just pizza. All kinds of sauces and stuff. We gotta grab our pizza soon because it's starting to drizzle. Oh, okay, look at this. Look at this pizza. It's got. It's got. Oh my god, wait a mm. second. Mm. It's got basil, artichoke, olives, and where's the capers? These are capers. Let's grab, let's see what it tastes like. Oh my God. Mm. Mm. With garlic. Really good. Artichoke hearts. Look at this. Pizza. Cheese. Really good. Halfway through the process, we realized they gave us little <laughs> shovels <laughs> so we can hold a pizza like this. It's getting really wet over here. We're gonna go back into the car and finish eating in the car. I'm sorry. We're back in the car. Gonna finish up my last piece of pizza left for me. Yeah, Caper. Nice. Mozzarella. Really good. Now we're going right near the King David Hotel after we just consumed our amazing pizza. That is the hotel. Right in front of it is the... Uh, it started to rain. It started to rain. So that's it guys, my battery's running really, really low. Uh, and the phone uh, charger in the car is not working. Hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, different, but hope you really enjoyed it. I appreciate it. If you give me a thumbs up and if you're not subscribed to the channel, want to watch, watch more of these videos, more of my videos, go ahead and click that subscribe button. I'm Sandy from Holy Shift. Peace out.